Hello my dear friends, in this video I'm going to discuss passage planning in Singapore Strait with you. Alright, uh, I just uh, came to this program, I mean, Admiralty Digital uh, Radio Signal Volume 6 just to give you an introduction uh, like my other videos but what is more important here for us is not here is on the on the egg right anyway uh there are reportings that you need to do stuff like that so let's discuss all that first uh, i will uh, discuss the eastbound passage so you will enter through malacca strait and uh, this is where you will have your information right the sectors what are the sectors and allocated uh, vhf channel and all that so you can read this okay and uh, let's uh, see what the diagrams are yeah you will enter from here and then uh, later on you will need to monitor and report accordingly as you pass each uh, sector uh, this is the pilotage uh, diagram this is for Port Kelang and all that um, here it's just a diagram what is mandatory blah 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 you can see that and here is the actual the singapore strait singapore strait is only sector seven eight nine the rest of the uh, uh sectors are uh, uh, malacca strait okay um well right okay so this is what there is nothing uh, in particular to uh, show you in this uh, this uh, publication right okay so let's say you are going to Singapore in uh, you, you may transit without stopping for bunkering or anything or if you happen to come for bunkering then you need to come you need to uh, uh, give VTA to pilot boarding ground choose the correct pilot boarding ground okay and right Singapore so here you have <coughs> all that information and uh, the same same diagrams here right so we don't have to discuss all this in uh, detail see pilotage for the procedure obtaining pilot see port singapore port of right okay what singapore port of you can select this and there you will find out uh, pilot details about Singapore Strait say you are now going to uh, Singapore for for bunkering okay so the same same diagrams are here so let's not uh, yeah, some bother doing that okay what you need to see here is pilot call is Singapore pilots channel 20 and uh, they there is some uh, information about confirm uh, service time when you do the epan uh, electronic uh, right notice of arrival you will be notified of your pilot boarding time so accordingly you can give but normally you you need to call about four hours before uh, arrival and two hours right master review uh, uh, arrival confirmation email message at cst minus two hours from uh, to reconfirm their boarding ground so best is to uh, two hours uh, uh, before pilot uh, boarding ground arrival there you need to call right so right okay so how to find out your uh, pilot boarding ground is mentioned here pilot boards for deep for order ordering uh, departure vessels right uh, eastern boarding ground for vessels other than tanks blah 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 so uh, that you can read normally it is either uh, pilot eastern boarding ground uh, bravo or charlie right okay now let's go to egg this and there is another publication we will discuss the passage against that okay guys so on your vessels there must be there should be a um, book uh, the a publication like this uh, passage planning guide straight stuff malacca and singapore sums right this is a very valuable book you will find a lot of information here and you have eastbound westbound uh, 
passages laid down you can go through and there are annexes also right so i'm not going to discuss uh, all this in detail because i don't want to lengthen my my video okay so basic uh, stuff you know eastern boarding ground charlie and all that for ships arriving from the east proceeding to encourages in the uh, this is a kind of uh, sub details right okay let's now go to eastbound there is a uh, leg by leg they have uh, they have uh, laid down information leg 1e like this see how it starts and uh, to eastbound you see with all this information what uh, you will pass a beam what kind of boy and all that right okay and uh, there is um, uh, there is uh, valuable there is some valuable information which you can find uh, from this um, only from this i think it's i haven't seen it in uh, in the lrs volume 6 say you may be now my ship is a handy size bulk carrier where my maximum draft is 10.3 but you may be a large tanker or a bulk carrier which draws about 18 meters 20 meters maybe and the <coughs> normal passage you cannot find there is a dedicated deep water route say i can i for my vessel can i uh, can i use this deep water route no why no because see there is there are two different routes in two different colors one is for deep water and other route is for normal uh, normal drafted vessels where it is mentioned is here you see a dark purple one draft greater than 15 15 meters i hope this is clear and the light blue one draft less than 15 meters so that is how just because for your own uh, discretion you cannot uh, you cannot choose uh, thinking that uh, you have enough enough depth in a uh, deep water route you can uh, you, you cannot just uh, choose the deep water route right okay so that is that about uh, this this booklet this uh, publication now let's move on to the egg and discuss the passage plan right all right dear friends this is Mala, this is malacca strait actually so we will discuss eastbound passage so you will enter from indonesia uh, from uh, indian ocean to through the malacca strait into singapore strait right so now i will move on to a uh, larger scale right mm. Um, so your point of entry to Malacca Strait. So before that, you need to have your reporting points, everything marked, so that it's easier for you, uh, for your other officers also, third mates, uh, chief mate, so that there is no confusion. So just for the time being, forget about this red route. This is now I'm bound uh, to. Suez Canal, so that is it in uh, red and this is in uh, orange, right? So here, now I have marked, you can see this line, right? And for entering sector one. So you need to call as you pass this, this reporting point to Kelang VTS channel 66 entering sector one. So they will start monitoring your movements and if there is uh, cross traffic or some things they will inform you so uh, it's uh, and here you can even go through this uh, this uh, to uh, cardinal boys also right you can come from here and go through here or south of uh, this boy no problem so as it's as you desire now in this case i have uh, i took to go towards uh, not off all this so i want for them back right so keep on coming like this keep to your you can uh, follow the tss rules and there are many 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 uh, aids for navigation for for fixing manual position right so here you pass another sector 
Kelang BTS entering sector 3. Likewise, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's very, very easy uh, passing Singapore Strait because traffic is regulated. Uh, all the ships move in the same direction. Right? And here is also another one. Um, another entering another sector. Right? Okay. It's nothing much, but anyway, one uh, one uh, one uh, one crew member on the ship told me to do this video also in Singapore Strait so that it will be helpful for them when they do exams and become officers. Right here uh, at this ah okay wait there is a place where the route divides. I forgot to. Right, it is here. See, after entering sector three, there is a the route divides for, uh, and there is a room for deep water, deep uh, deep deep drafted vessels. So, as uh, at the beginning of my uh, video, I explained to you how to determine uh, whether your ship is a deep drafted or a normal drafted vessel, because. Uh, Haphazardly, you cannot go thinking our uh, deep water is safe water and you can uh, decide to go no so uh, that is why this when you enter this <coughs> when you report after entering they will monitor your traffic movements and it, just in case if you want to go go uh, select the inappropriate route they will tell you uh, and redirect accordingly so if your ship draws more than 15 uh, 15 meters you may you may uh, select the deep, uh, deep deep water route and later on you will again at this point uh, come back to the same same uh, same TSS lane right okay where were we uh, at the yeah at the and here you will enter the uh, Singapore Strait so you can call VTIS West on channel 73 entering sector 7 okay and uh, just before the turn to north you can call singapore pilots according to your speed okay on channel 20 and give eta to your pilot boarding ground two hours before two hours before arrival okay so from here you will move uh, northeast okay Shit. okay Ongoing. I'm sorry, like this is because here too much chart data, so like this is slower, right? And uh, now it's uh, you are getting closer to your pilot boarding ground. You may leave uh, the traffic lane at small angles and cross at right angles. So you are here, right? And then you need to move out to you will say you are going to East China, China side, and then uh, I will. Okay. so you will after bunkering or crew change or whatever after receiving stores then you will you will need to start your voyage eastbound again so you will enter your traffic lane accordingly as per rules and then go report uh, accordingly as uh, mentioned see I have marked everything called VTIS central uh, entering sector 8 uh, and keep going if you go to say Indonesia side it's it's uh, it's good that you keep to the starboard limit of the traffic lane so that you can quickly turn to south without any issue in case if you are here then you need to you know it's about it's about your uh, according to the prevailing conditions and here upon uh, upon uh, a beam Horsberg lighthouse you can uh, uh, you can report to VTIS um, VTIS East leaving sector 9 right on channel 
what what channel is this i never mind channel 10 right so after leaving sector 9 means that you're out of singapore Strait after a beam okay and you will you will uh, move out of singapore Strait and into uh, the uh, sea south china sea and to your destination port the same way uh, westbound we will i will discuss in my next video westbound also you will enter the singapore Strait from east side um, uh, a, a beam uh, passing a beam horseburg lighthouse right we will discuss that in my next video thank you uh, my dear friends i saw um, some sort of help for freshers or whoever thank you for watching and keep uh, sharing keep subscribing